So Flip a Clip got a facelift. Let's take a look at it. So when you open Flip a Clip now, you'll see that the whole interface has gotten a little bit of an overhaul. It looks a little sleeker, a little smoother. Your toolbar can now be moved to suit your preferences. You can move it to the side, you can move it to the top of your screen, and you can more customize your workspace. Also these three buttons down here will give you access to the blur and smudge tool, which are also new and they work pretty well. So if you look up here, you'll see that there's a new button that'll allow you to hide the majority of your workspace and work in a more streamlined version of Flip a Clip. They minimize your tool window. Pressing here will reopen it and then you can select your tool and press it again to close it back down. You can still move it around in this state, which is pretty cool to flip between frames. You just grab these buttons down here and you can scroll between. You could also tap on the previous and next frame if you don't feel like scrolling. You have the play button down here to preview your animation. You can see your layers and you have the copy and paste button. You don't see the undo or redo button, but that is because Flip a Clip being a mobile app, you can two finger tap to undo, three finger tap to redo. So they don't consider it necessary to have the buttons in this streamlined version. To bring everything back, you just press that show button and you can also move the secondary toolbar that pops up when you press a tool, when you press the bucket tool, it'll show you your threshold of your color. You can move that around as well, which is very cool. Now, although I was a little surprised when I opened Flip a Clip and saw it looked different, I have to say, I really do like the stage redesign that they've come up with. If you decide you don't want the new stage, you feel comfortable with how Flip a Clip has always been. You don't have to worry. They thought about you specifically. In your settings, you can just flip that stage redesign button off. And then when you go back, everything's back to normal. The Flip a Clip that you're probably more used to. So this new redesign is an option to elevate your experience, not something to force you into a new experience. Now I made a little uh, simple animation just to get a feel for how this new space is gonna work, how I'll use it. Will I use the hidden feature? Will I move my tools around a lot? I just wanted to experiment. All in all, I like it. I think I keep everything pretty much where it's at. Although, when working on certain parts of the animation, I might wanna move something over to get a better look at something else. And I feel like that's a convenient thing to have. Also being able to hide the workspace when you're doing something super straightforward and you don't need all the extra stuff on your screen. Also a great thing to have. All in all, more options are always better. And as long as it's an option and not being forced, it's always a good thing. So here's the result of the animation I made in this new version of Flip a Clip. Let me know what you guys think. Are you happy with the little redesign they made? Are you gonna just flick yours back to the standard? Or Will you give the new Flip a Clip a try?